Justin Tucker is the GOAT. And I don't even think I'm, I have to look through the numbers and everything a second time to be absolutely certain. But right now, I'm not saying that in the hyperbolic, oh, you're the GOAT. No. That man has the greatest leg that has ever existed on this earth! Let me get rid of this pan. It got me tight. I'm sorry. I've got these goosebumps. My goodness. I was just talking about today in my live stream about how how much people undervalue, how much the NFL undervalues, kick, undervalues kickers. That's a loss with any other kicker in the NFL. I have to brush up again on how much, like, I, how much everyone's getting paid in the salary cap and all that, but I feel like that man should be making $10 million about a year. That man makes more of a difference to a team than just about anyone. Yeah, I know, other than quarterbacks, probably. But outside of that, they're the one position in the NFL where it doesn't really matter what anyone else does. They're doing them. A quarterback? Look at Sam Darnold. Put him under a trash offensive line, he'll look like a pile of cheeks. Put him with a good team, he looks pretty good. Justin Tucker's always doing his thing. And it's the one position in the league where he directly puts up points on the board. He's directly either putting up points or not. And he missed one today, and that man was going to make up for it. The longest kick in NFL history to squeak by those Lions who, we could talk about them for a little bit, they deserve some credit. But Justin Tucker, there's just no way you can overpay that man. You need to pay him more. He, kickers are undervalued. It's the difference between me, a team like the Ravens and a team like the Chargers. Who The Chargers have been a good football team for like the last dang near decade. It's just they always have a trash kicker that chokes kicks. And then the Ravens, how there's at least like five of these games where with any other kicker, or with most other kickers, they would have lost most of them. But Justin Tick, Tucker just has clutch inside of his jeans and if they had him a little bit earlier against the Patriots that one time they might have one more Super Bowl under their belts but for the Ravens today the only reason it was close they I mean you got to give credit to that Lions defense they were playing hard their diet defense still I don't think it's good but they were playing hard and they were playing with energy but really it just came down to Ravens can you get Le Lamar just so better weapons. I mean, Jamie Watkins, great pickup. A pro, a solid receiver. Marquise Brown, a good receiver, but he should not be the guy you rely upon to be your star. He's a great value, Tyreek Hill. He's the Walmart version of Tyreek Hill. When he's looking good, he can look like a Tyreek Hill. He can put the burners on and make some big plays, but he can also have the fumble fingers. We've seen it before, and oh gosh, was it bad today. And it had me tight having him in fantasy. If he was just catching those balls, it would have been a comfortable win for the Ravens in Detroit. But you got to give credit to that Detroit defense. Like I said, the way they were playing hard, their offense let them down today. I actually thought their offense was the thing that was actually pretty good, and their defense was just trash. Today, their offense didn't do enough. And even though I, you know, I thought they were pretty good, you know, Swift is they have good running backs, and they have good running backs, solid offensive line. Hawkinson's elite tight end. I can think Jared Goff, Jared Goff is solid, but give credit to the Ravens defense as well. Give credit to both defenses. Honestly, it's just the Justin Tucker show. Lamar Jackson put him in the position as well. Sammy Watkins, if he didn't get out of, if he was able to get out of bounds, maybe you could have got a kick a little bit closer. Give credit to that man, Lamar. I get goosebumps even more so watching how excited he gets. I love Lamar Jackson, man. How do you not? How do you not love somebody that cares as much as he does? He's a great teammate too. He's you can see the leadership. You can see like how much he cares out there. And also when Marquise Brown's dropping these easy passes off of beautiful Lamar Jackson throws. Beautiful Lamar Jackson throws. He's not going, he's not getting mad. He gets mad when he makes a bad throw. But when you saw him, he's just like, like, damn, he's like a little frustrated. But he's not showing up his receiver like, you know, or like anything like that. You got to love Lamar Jackson out there. Lamar Jackson, it's tough to even rank him in the NFL. But what I can say about him is he's the best when things aren't going good. I feel like you could put Lamar Jackson on the Jets and he'll make that team competitive. You could give him a horrible offensive line. He's like the one guy. You could give him any type of team, and they'll, he'll elevate him. He'll run for his life. He'll make things happen. No matter what the weapons are, he'll scramble it up until somebody gets open. He'll make the plays. Lamar Jackson, top tier, and it might be their year. If only they didn't lose their running backs, but even so, they seem to run the ball okay. The Ravens, uh, I don't know about them against the Bills. The Bills might be a tough one, and even the Chiefs when it comes down to big moments. 
But don't rule out these Ravens. They've got heart. And of defense, make plays. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and that subscribe. Please, yes, sir.